Hello, this is Decor Green, and welcome back. Today's hot topic discussion is what is witchcraft? We hear the term used all the time, but what actually is witchcraft? Witchcraft is simply uh, the operation of witches, warlocks, and sorcerers, where they uh, evoke evil spirits for an evil purpose. Uh, also, uh, witchcraft is where uh, the evoking of evil spirits to try to force an outcome that's contrary to the will of God. So witchcraft is, is all around. Uh, and the thing about witchcraft is that, you know, many people think that, oh, well, witch, warlock, or sorcerer is just flying around on some broom or got on this witch's hat or just look evil, etc. No, witches are normal looking people, regular looking people who have normal jobs. They're, they're, they're everywhere and they're human agents of Satan. They're human agents of Satan being used by Satan uh, to do all type of, 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 of evil, to wreak havoc, especially trying to wreak havoc in the body of Christ. And so that there's witches everywhere in, in, in schools and in, in, in neighborhoods and in, in, in your house and in, in, in everywhere you can think of, any career, any profession, there are witches that are assigned there in the church. There are witches assigned to come to the church. Witches are everywhere. Warlocks are everywhere. But thank God that there's children of God who has power, the power of God and the authority of Christ that's also everywhere. So it's not something to cause fear or paranoia, but understand that. It goes on every day. It goes on all around us because witchcraft, again, is a system. Witchcraft is a system. It's, it's, it's a, they, they, they work in networks. So, so no witch or warlock works alone. They, they, they work in networks. And, of course, they, they, they summon demons and work with demons. And then they work amongst one another. Uh, and so witchcraft, uh, again, tries to impose Satan's will onto a person, into a situation. Uh, and, and some of you may have grown around uh, something what people call good witchcraft. There's no such thing as a good witch. You know, going to the root man, going to the root doctor, you know, so you can feel better. Go to the root doctor to get this person to like you, to get this, to get this job uh, accepted, to, to get accepted into this school. So people even use witchcraft for what they think is something good, but they're trying to force something that's contrary to the will of God, to what God is saying, to what God wants. That's a, just a basic form of witchcraft. And so even if you think about in your own family, on your own bloodline, you understand generational curses. But that pattern that you see of, you know, everyone has in, in the bloodline seem to have this certain disease or, or, or so many people in the, the bloodline died of a certain thing uh, or, or, or certain patterns that you notice. Witchcraft enforces that pattern. And witchcraft helps to keep that pattern and that cycle going and going and going because they go to raise their evil altars, make their evil incantations and, 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 and prayers unto Satan, etc., evoking of evil spirits to keep the pattern, to keep the cycle going. They feed those demons to keep the cycles going. Uh, for example, let's think about some streets uh, or some highways that a lot of accidents happen, a lot of deaths happen. That's not by accident. That's witchcraft. Witchcraft that is at work where they name that particular area and say, we're going to have a whole bunch of accidents happen here. Because what happened is, they passed a law in a realm of the spirit, but on the demonic side, they, they, they imposed some law saying that people who drive on the street, it's going to be a whole bunch of accidents, it's going to be a whole bunch of deaths, and so they come in agreement with other demonic spirits to keep causing the same thing happening in that street. You know, neighborhoods with a whole bunch of crime, uh, or, or even poverty, None of that is by accident. That is through witchcraft. 95% of your challenges, attacks, issues come from witchcraft. So witchcraft is real. It's going, it goes on all around us. There's no place that's exempt from witchcraft practices. Because again, the goal of witchcraft is to try to stop your progress. To try to stop you from moving forward. To try to cause something to happen that's contrary to to the will of God. That's witchcraft. And so it's a system. Like I said, they, they operate in networks. They're human agents of Satan uh, who's being used by Satan for evil purposes. Even those who claim to be good and I'm doing this for good. There's no such thing. Hear me clearly. There is no such thing as a good witch. Those powers come from the demonic realm. That's opposing the power of God that we carry as children of God, as manifested sons and daughters of God. So again, witchcraft is a system. The goal of witchcraft, again, is to stop you from moving forward, to stop you from progress, and to keep cycles 
and patterns going in your life, in the life of your family, in the life of anywhere. And, and witches are everywhere. Warlocks are everywhere. Sorcerers, they're everywhere. In your neighborhoods, like I said, in schools, in hospitals, in churches, you name it. There are witches on assignment who, who will work by day and do their witchcraft by night. Or not even that, they'll do their witchcraft by day and by night. Trying to sow seeds, trying to get access, trying to get into your house. That's why you can't just accept things just from anyone and pray over what you receive. And again, it's not to create paranoia, but it's real. It's real. But everything God creates, Satan tries to duplicate. Because I teach all the time. When, when you go in the grocery store, you go in places, you're sitting on, on chairs or, or, or going to a restaurant and eating, release the anointing, release the anointing. I release the anointing on this chair. I release the anointing on this car. So you're releasing virtue, power of the Holy Spirit that's, that's, that's coming out of you so that when someone comes in contact with it, 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 it they're impacted for the good. But what God creates, Satan tries to duplicate. So what is witches, warlocks, and sorcerers attempt to do? They're going to try to touch things, trying to release curses on it. Trying to release demons on it. They're just simply copycats, but they're doing it for an evil purpose. So as children of God, we have power over witchcraft. It's nothing to be afraid of, but you need to understand what's going on around you. You need to recognize when witchcraft is in operation and so that you can pray against it. Pray against those witchcraft networks. Networks of witches, warlocks, and sorcerers who come together trying to determine how to stop you. And maybe when you got saved, you might have had one witch assigned to you. But the more you start to pray and war and expose the kingdom of darkness and do the will of God, and, and they recognize that you're a threat to Satan's kingdom, then there may be multiple witches and warlocks assigned to you. Maybe an entire witch's coven, which is the meeting place of witches and warlocks. An entire coven could be meeting to discuss you. And then as you continue to move up and continue to go deeper into things of God and carry more of God's glory, then it can be witchcraft networks across the globe who's coming together to try to stop you, to try to stop your bloodline, to try to stop you from moving forward. So witchcraft is real, but the power of God is more real. So you have the ability to use God's power, the weapons he's given us, but we can't be ignorant to what's going on around us and oblivious and just going around thinking, oh, everything's just fine and nothing's going on. I can do what I want, nothing to be concerned about. Witchcraft is real and the enemy is trying to target every child of God. And there's problems that go on and on and on and on with, and, 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 and so many people waiting for God to do something about it. And God is waiting for us to do something about it because you have the power, you have the authority of Christ to do something about it. To cancel witchcraft, to cancel witchcraft assignments against your life. So again, if you like this video, share it with your family, your friends. Be sure to uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon.